Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl Ann Lee, Systems Engineer at VMware. And I have with me here today Bruce Davey, CTO for VMware in ABJ, who is here to share more with us about the tech trends for the year. So Bruce, um, 2018 is coming to an end. Uh, throughout the year, you've actually talked about a lot of upcoming innovations that have impacted the tech space. Could you, you know, possibly recap what are the top tech trends for the year? Sure. So I think the number one thing that jumped out for me this year was how multi-cloud is becoming the reality for so many enterprises. So we're consistently seeing customers say, I expect for the long term I'm going to be across multiple clouds, some mixture of two or three or more public clouds and probably some private infrastructure which becomes increasingly cloud-like. So, you know, first thing I'd say is multi-cloud is becoming a mainstream reality. Mm -hmm. um, second one, for as long as I've been in this job, everybody's been asking me about AI. We're increasingly seeing that becoming kind of a mainstream technology. And the challenge now, I think, for enterprises as they look at AI is how do they really figure out what they're going to do with it that's going to be differentiating. To actually do something that's differentiating against your competition means you've got to do something with your own data that, that gives you an edge on, your, on the competition. So I think that's a, you know, both a developing recognition that AI is mainstream, but also the developing challenge that we need to do something differentiating with it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the third one I would say is, you know, we're really not particularly uh, striking about 2018 compared to previous years, but certainly the, the security challenges, shall we say, continue to be you know, front page news. From the technology point of view, you know, we're seeing an increasing set of tools that make us feel that we have a better handle on making security better, but at the same time, the urgency of doing something gets, gets stronger and stronger. So I guess those would be the, you know, the top three things I'd pick out from, from what I saw in 2018. Awesome. So with you know, a close to an end of the year comes a new year. So anything coming up, what do you think? Yeah, well, you know, it's always hard to predict the future, but I, I get asked to do it about this time every year too. So um, I guess, you know, first thing I'll say is that, you know, it's becoming increasingly clear that the the edge is a really uh, serious place to do computing, that, you know, with the rise of IoT, edge computing is taking on a life of its own. We saw, for example, big recent announcements by Amazon, mm -hmm. the AWS outposts. So I think we're definitely going to see edge becoming a more and more important category. Mm -hmm. And, you know, IoT and edge kind of go hand in hand. The technology is definitely there now for that to really start to make an impact in 2019. Mm -hmm. The next one I'd say is SD-WAN. I'd say in some sense 2018 was the year when SD-WAN really took off. I think there's no end in sight for that. It's really transforming how we connect remote offices, branches, all kinds of places that are you know, challenging to get connectivity to. We've got a whole new set of tools now for how we provide networking services and security services out to those remote locations. So I think that's going to be a huge thing in, in 2019. And then of course, you, know, you can't really be futuristic without mentioning blockchain. The technology is now getting mature enough that it's realistic to go and start playing around with use cases. And so I think what I would expect to see in 2019 is a lot of different use cases are going to get tried out and we'll start to find the ones where there's real return on investment to justify using this you know, relatively new technology to do things differently than they've been done in the past. So whether it will be supply chain management or you know, asset transfers or whatever, I think there will be some big use cases of, of blockchain come out in, in 2019. Across all those technologies, the thing I, I would say in common across all of them is you've got to focus on what's differentiating for your business. And generally speaking, that's not the infrastructure. So what you have to do is you still need infrastructure, whether it's something that you get from a public cloud or something you run yourself, but you've got to focus on making that infrastructure as easy to manage as possible, as really transparent as possible, so that your focus moves up to the applications and the use cases on top of that infrastructure. And increasingly, instead of thinking about infrastructure as compute, storage, networking, you start thinking of it as the platform that you build your applications on top of. And that in itself creates a whole lot of opportunities with the technologies that let you deliver an application platform rather than just a set of piece parts that you know, do various parts of the, of the task. So I think those are, those are the sort of the relatively simple bits of advice I, I give is like focus on making that infrastructure easy to operate mm -hmm. because the real value is what you run on top of it and focus your energy on what's differentiating for your business. Awesome. Thank you.